All right, everyone, it is day three of filming. Um, tonight, I want to vacuum this floor, sweep this floor, get any of the staples up that I can. I've treated this area for the urine odor just to make sure that it doesn't come up. And I'm going to apply the kills to here. My goal tonight is to do this and to to pack two boxes of items from the living room. So I've got two boxes downstairs. I've taped one up. I've got to tape up the other. Then I'm going to start with the walls and just take everything off the walls, take down the curtains, just taking it all down. And I'm sure most of you are looking at my floors saying they look fine. Why are you getting them replaced? Well, these are laminate vinyl, uh, laminate planks. These are not, uh, what I'm getting is life proof vinyl planks. I don't, I don't know. But anyway, these are just essentially, they have this little strip of laminate on the top and then it's MDF underneath every time it gets wet or the dog pees it swells up like this so I've got plenty of spaces <clears throat> where water has collected or pee pee has collected that's one spot and I also have places in this floor where the cat has knocked things off, like off the top of this shelf and taken gouges out of this floor because it's so thin on top. So I just want to get something that's a little bit better and sustainable for our life with pets and wetness and bad kittens and you know all that let's go pack a box also tonight <clears throat> i was thinking about painting these black just the tops black but i see i've got a gouge there and i was gonna paint this one black I'm going to paint this one black because look at it. I clean it all the time, but the cat gets up here and it just gets so gross looking. Oh, wait. What are you doing, Cotton? Oh, what you doing in the box? You silly lion bitch. What you doing? I like a box, mommy. Anyway, so I want to tape the. Uh, paint the top of this as well but uh, before I do fun things which it's not fun but it's more fun than <laughs> taking everything off the walls and packing it up <laughs> good, good, good. <clears throat> I'm going to put together this last box then we're going to go into the living room start taking things off of the wall now anything that is screwed into the wall like the shelves themselves they will stay things on those shelves will be coming off all of my cow and farmhouse stuff will be coming off in the dining room also i just wanted to say that i came through the other night and took down the majority of my fall uh, these will go the plates will go in the cabinets these candles cannot go into the attic, so I'm just going to find a drawer, stuff those in. Have a great day. But I am going to empty this and this and find places to stuff all the things that are in there. I'm going to probably put all of my pictures in a box, put them in the attic. Um, I just want to get rid of anything that I can easily lift into the attic. And any of this heavier furniture is going to be left behind and we'll just shift it from one side of the room to the other as the floors are being done. That's the only thing I know to do. So. 
So, yeah, yeah. That's the plan there. Let me go put the boxes together and I'll be right back. All right, so I have the one box there. I'm going to start on this wall and I got to do it now before the cat gets back in there. Because he's looking at it mighty hard. All right, guys, so I decided to make this part of the video sped up because it's a Friday night. I've been working and I am real chatty because I decided to go by McDonald's and um, have a chicken sandwich meal with a Pepsi. So apparently I'm all kind of jacked up. And uh, we don't need that. <sighs> so, um, basically what I'm doing is just taking everything off the wall, wiping it down, getting all of the cat hair, the dust, the horribleness off of it. And then I got real chatty and said, oh, you want to know where everything's from? Let me just tell you. This is from Kirkland's. That's from Target Dollar Spot in 2018. This is from the at-home store. Uh, we don't know what life story we're telling you right now. We don't know, okay? It's a bunch of nonsense. Nobody cares. I thought that I would, you know, just talk while I was doing this to make it more interesting. I don't have anything interesting to say at all about anything, okay? So, no, lastly, we're not. Just because you got a Pepsi and you got all jacked up doesn't mean you're going to be chatty Cathy with some nonsense. There I'm talking about my floor, how it's going to be a light wood up against my gray furniture. Maybe you can tell me, is that going to be okay, do you think? Will I need to paint that black? Eh, we don't know. I have a pretty eclectic style as far as my furniture. I have whites. I have grays. I have, you know, regular wood tones. And it was basically out of I needed furniture, but I didn't have a lot of money to spend. And so I was just picking up pieces here and there when they were cheap, when they were on clearance, whatever the case may have been. Um, and so it's all kind of mismatched. I don't mind it being different colors. Let me know what you think when you've seen me clean my house or go around my house. Are you like, why does she have a white? sideboard with gray shelves <laughs> you know tell me what you think um it doesn't bother me but i'm just wondering if it's aesthetically pleasing to the eye or is it like with so much that i put on my walls then i got so much on the you know the furniture and are we cozy or are we crazy <laughs> Anyway, so, yeah, I thought I was going to be killsing and doing this and that. I've got a whole list of stuff that I have got to do um, by the time they arrive and start putting this floor down. And I've already decided that the most important part is to get all of the things off of the walls and out of the furniture, like, Anything that I'm storing in all of these pieces of furniture needs to come out so that we can easily slide the furniture from one side of the room while they're putting the floor, then put it back on the floor. I also bought a huge packet of um, uh, like felt pads to put underneath each of my pieces of flooring because I don't want anything, I don't want to put rubber down on it or foam that might stain the new floor or stick to, look, as much as I'm putting into this flooring, uh-uh, we're going to put some felt down, call it a day, um, which means if you come in and sit in a chair, you might slide a little bit, but you're going to be all right, okay, because I got expensive floors and we know. Oh, here's where I'm telling you where I got this. 
I'm going to tell you where I got this milk jar from and how I painted it and how cute it was. What is wrong with me? Okay. Why would I think that anybody would care? Oh, God. And then here's my dollar store picture that I got years ago. And then I cricketed it. <laughs> Again, why did I think it was important? We, we don't know. Okay. We just don't know. Um, now I'm taking down my curtains that have not been taken down in like three and a half years. Full of cat hair, dust, as you can tell from, I don't know if you can tell, but my nose and my allergies are jacked up. And drinking that soda and eating junk food does not help. So this morning, I'm having a cup of coffee and one of my Dave's Killer Bread Amped Up Organic Protein Bars, the Peanut Butter Chocolate Chunk. Thank you, Katie. It was perfect. I've got 10 grams of protein in me so far. And after I do this voiceover and prepare this video, we're going to get on to day four. But yeah, I'm glad that I focused and did what I was supposed to do, which was to take everything off of these floors, box it up. Today, um, all you see that that barn over there on that table, all that nonsense. People have those on Facebook. They were from uh, Hobby Lobby and they decorate them for every season and it looks so cute. Well, they probably stay at home and have the time to think and do that. I have the time to work and then come home, clean and do a little bit of filming and decorating, but I don't have time to do the barn and all, you know, I've done it a couple of times, but it's turned out to be more of a hassle than a joy. And so I just would rather take it to the goodwill and allow someone else to have it that really wants one that couldn't afford it, that would really enjoy it, you know. So that's what I'm going to be doing as I'm taking things down, packing things away. I'm going to say, does this bring me joy anymore? If it doesn't, it's going to the Goodwill where someone else can pick it up and find the joy. Um, and I noticed that I love every bit of my living room, <laughs> except for that barn area. And I think with the table that I took the barn off of, I want to move my sofa up just a tad bit and put that table behind it and make it more of a sofa table behind it. That way I have another surface. If I have a dinner party, I could, you know, lay the food out there. Don't know if I've got the room to do that, but that was my thought. Um, and I also want to bring in a couple more chairs and make it more of a cozy living room space where it's, you walk in and it's definitely the living room. And over here is definitely the, the nonsense I am telling you about how to clean the things that you take off of the wall. Ridiculous. All right, everything has been taken off the wall over there. Um, the stuff on top of there now, I will be keeping. That mailbox is pretty much, it's held in through a screw, so I don't see that popping out of the wall. We hope not. Then I have my box of my barn and my milk truck and my milk jugs and silo and windmill and all that nonsense going to the Goodwill, okay? And so, here is my very boring, nothing on the walls, living room. On these three walls, and the one behind me, this color is Sherwin-Williams, and it is called Gossamer Veil. 
and I love colors like these because they look different in different lighting. It can either give off a gray hue or a green hue, but it goes perfectly with my Cleary Sage wall. It might just be regular sage, I don't know. There's a couple of sages, but I think I got regular. And I painted that. This, um, these curtain rods were originally silver. All the hardware and lights and everything is silver in this place. I painted it to make it look like it was distressed wood. And then I just hung up my curtains that were too long, so I folded them over at the top and then clipped them up there, and they stay like that all year round, because if I closed and opened, they would rip the paint off of. So we're gonna take that down. And then I'll be done. Hello there, kitten. My, you're pretty. All right, thank you. Why are you trying to knead the... Why are you so pretty? Okay, move along. All right, so I went by the dollar store first. And I got all kinds of things to like dust my walls, my blinds, um, mop my walls, make sure I can get into the corners, dust my walls. Then I got the holder for it. Um, these are kind of like a Swiffer in that you just take this lay it on there and it sticks and I've got the pole upstairs and you just screw it on and then I'm just gonna take it and wipe down all get all the dust off I've got one for before and one for after and then I've got one for before and one for after of cleaning with wet solution so I got Two of each of those and a corner piece and this is for like blinds or probably my dust on my baseboards or something and then I'll go through and probably use this to wipe down the baseboards I might get on my hands and knees for don't know. and then I got some things we just don't need to look at okay so there's that then I went over to the wool mat and I got this. It is DAP. It's called Plastic Wood. I chose this because A, it was cheaper than the um, tube. They had like a, a tube of it that was $640 something. And eh, we can't be sure that that's been properly sealed, isn't dried up, you know. Plus, it had a two hour dry time. This was only an hour. Da 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 chose this so we're going to take this and fill in any of these little gouges and then let that sit overnight come back sand it and paint this in the morning because um it's 8 49 i'm pretty much done so i'm just going to fill this See if we can get it to where you can see me do it. Okay, here's the spot. This is how I'm doing it. Oops. Squeeze it out. All right. So I'm just going to squeeze it out onto my finger. Fill that in like that. Let that sit overnight and dry. I have some cat scratches 
And over here, we're going to fill. Sorry, I hit the record button. Anyway, so I filled that one there. It may need a little bit more. I was trying to get those filled. And then just these little kitty ones. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to wipe off the surface and get all of the extra that's outside of the hole off. Let it dry overnight. Come back and do a second coat as needed. This one over here should be pretty good. I don't ever see him get up here. It just needs to be wiped down and painted. So we might just paint this one tonight because it's an easy paint. Let's do that. All right, first things first. Degrease, especially with it being here in the kitchen, definite degrease. It's plumb water in my face. I am not going to do this board underneath. I'm just going to do this topper board. Excuse me, sir, we don't do that. Then, I'm going to scratch up the surface a little bit so that paint will stick. Okay, same grit, 320. Nothing major. Just want to stuff the surface. Prep it to be able to take that paint. And something that's really great about this paint that I got, it is self-leveling, which means I can do brush strokes in any direction I want to, like I did on the steps, and it will level out and be a smooth finish. I can see the brush strokes that people did here. Not a good job. I always, well, I feel like I always get a leveling type because I'm very impatient. Mm, that's a problem. I'm going to speed this up now. So as I was painting, I was noticing, you know, those different gouges and stuff. And I thought, eh, I probably should have filled them in. But this will be a good test as to whether or not the black paint will kind of hide those. I don't know. But I am definitely going to fill in the one upstairs where the cat jumps up on it to get into his litter box because that's filled with little cat claw holes and all of that. But I am quite pleased with the fact that I did this. By the time I finished all this, it was well after 10 o'clock. I was exhausted, didn't do an intro, uh, outro. So I just want to say thank you for joining me for this video. If you haven't, please hit subscribe. I'd love to have you on this journey. And if you enjoyed this video, definitely be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Also, if you have any questions about where anything is from, I can tell you because apparently I remembered where I got everything from 2018 through 2021. <laughs> we don't know. Okay, we just, we got some issues. Everything is fine. If you like to hang out with crazy people, again, Hit that subscribe button because you're going to have a great time because I am crazy. Okay. 
so yeah, I like I said, I am quite pleased with how this little wall topper turned out. Um, and I love this paint. All right, so I'm going to come back and put a second coat on tomorrow, but I am glad that I did it because I think just the contrast of it looks really, really cool. You know, in my kitchen, I have that green color on the walls. I just think it looks awesome next to it. Not the best job cutting in, but whatever. This is just one coat, so it's streaky looking. But we're going to let that dry overnight. Come back, put a second coat on. But I am quite pleased. 